Welcome back to Hidden Power and Happy New Year. This is the Year of the Dragon. Today we're going to be talking all about dragon type Pokemon, our understanding of what dragons are in the real world and comparing that with how the Pokemon universe and canon understands dragon Pokemon, the dragon type, there's dragon trainers. We're going to talk about so much. My name is Dusty Go Goat. I'm also with the Lumios Post. Hello. And Soul Silver Art. What's up? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, guys. Woo. Good to see all of you. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm excited. We're back. We're back together. So before we start, do you guys have anything to say uh, about about the year of the dragon? That's, that's okay, what 2024 is. I have a lot to say. This is the year of the dragon from the Chinese zodiac, okay? <laughs> Just so people know. Like, I don't know if people understand why it's the year of the dragon and all that, but, you know, I don't know. When I was a kid, the only thing I knew about this growing up in America was, you know, you go to a Chinese restaurant and there's like the Chinese zodiac thing, like right on yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the mat there. And you, you compare like, oh, it with I'm, your birthday. You're like, oh, yeah, what year like, am I? I'm, I'm the snake. And, and I think I'm the, the dog. Dragon. I and then always some people to. take it way too seriously and are like, oh, you're the snake? Well, I'm the cow, so I can't be your friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a I mean, cow. That's I will real. step that's what on it was, you. That's what it's for, though, actually. I mean, people, there's definitely Chinese people who probably still. Maybe we should. What are, are our Pokemon it? horoscopes? Because that was a thing. That's a whole thing. For uh, another I'm definitely Flay yeah. Coco. <laughs> well, no, not there's like there, actually not, a. Uh, a I guess I'm Fennekin. Pokemon horoscope. There's actually like a Pokemon horoscope in the games. All right. Is there really in the well, games? In Unova. All right. This is oh, we're getting fun. we're getting we derailed that. quickly because yeah. I'm curious <laughs> and I want to do that. There's still one more one more important thing. The year of the dragon actually hasn't started yet. I just want it for all <laughs> of our <laughs> like February. Right? We have Chinese friends out here, and they. I don't want to be just completely ignorant to this. We know that it starts like a month from now, but yeah. it's our New Year, so even though it's not the Chinese New Year yet, it's our New Year. Year's, yeah. It's our rules. So, <laughs> Dude, is it right now in China? Are they still dating things? Twenty twenty three? I don't. I don't know. That I don't know. I am ignorant of this. I just Leave have a, a few Chinese you know. friends that have helped me out with these things. But today we're anyway. going to be talking about the year of the dragon. We're, we're going to be talking all about the dragon type. So let's start with our understanding of what dragons are in 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 in, in human land, right? In human canon. So a in dragon the real world. A dragon <laughs> this is, is what a we call the real world human land. <laughs> Yeah, Generation 10. Generation 20 is going to be uh, on human, human land. Earth, human land. <laughs> do we catch humans? Yeah, yeah, we oh, no. do. What oh, do you think no, Mr. No, Mime no. is? No, please. All right, so a dragon is a large mythic... Uh, sorry, a dragon is a large magical legendary creature that appears in the folklore of multiple cultures worldwide. That is honestly a really huge thing, right? Okay, because it's, it's worldwide. Beliefs about dragons vary considerably throughout regions, but dragons in Western cultures since the High Middle Ages have often been depicted as winged, horned, and capable of breathing fire. This is going to be something that we see, and we're going to be talking like about. Sounds like my ex-wife, but I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lumi is uh, like 20 years old. He does not have an ex-wife. I don't have yeah. an ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought okay. you were saying like Lumi is a child. He's making childish jokes. <laughs> also that. <laughs> He's 20 years old. <laughs> so, but we're going to be talking about that in this episode because like I, I think there are a lot of misconceptions. Like w the way we see a dragon has to be like draconic. It has to be uh, right. know, like a lizard. It's got to be kind of like a reptile. Um, but that's not always the case, right? Uh, looking at you, Alolan Executor. So dragons in Eastern cultures are usually depicted as wingless, four-legged, serpentine creatures with above-average intelligence. Rayquaza. Commonalities okay. between dragons. Uh, their traits are often a hybridization of feline, reptilian, mammal, and avian features. Dude, the, if the I may, there so more... might be a really good explanation for things like a little an executor though because like yeah. if you look at the real world with dragons you know typically that was something that existed like a myth and i remember there was this one dragon that was like and a lot of people even like speculate raging bolt might have pulled from this sure it was like they said it had like a really long neck but a, a quadruped body yeah and uh the way like people have explained it now is imagine you're a guy living in spain zoos aren't a thing tv isn't a thing mm. you take a little trip to africa and you see a giraffe yeah. you don't know what the heck that thing is yeah you know so like i kind of i like to think of a lot of the pokemon dragons as being kind of a, a homage to that that no the, i love that that's such a really interesting concept because like you know we are blessed today to live when we do where like the entire world everything that exists we have 
pretty fairly relative easy access to it, right? Concepts are taught to us, right? Things that mm -hmm. would seem ridiculous uh, were, were exposed to at a young age, right? You'd have a right. whole a kid book knows of dinosaurs. What a lion is just as well yeah. as he knows what a dog is. But it's true. It's like you know, back in the day, for most, for the majority, more than ninety nine point nine percent of human history, right? If you see something that isn't from your hometown or village or whatever, right? It's literally like a monster, right? Well, especially really right. weird looking things. Like, think about a giraffe in like comparison to what you are seeing. You, you see know? it, yeah, like, dude, yeah. That's that's wild. That's I just saw a giraffe <laughs> the first time you ever yeah. saw a giraffe. Like, you mm -hmm. would be like, what? I, I was just hearing and a, if you've a description. Never seen a snake before, and the first time you dude, see one, that's an a dragon, and it eats people. It wraps them up mm -hmm. and eats them. I was listening to a description, uh, like a written description of what early sailors. Um, depicted or, or, or they were describing like basically what a seal was right but they were like it's a mermaid it's got or it's this it's this horrible oh, yeah, beast yeah, yeah. it's got like a dog face and the flippers of a shark and and it's like you know the the video was using like ai to depict it right which helped demonstrate how like uncanny that description is or the understanding of whatever that creature was but it's just a seal that's all it is it's just a seal um, it's a seal to us, but to them, yeah, it was something. It's that, a demon. I love this topic, to be honest. I mean, it's not really like two Pokemon, but it is kind of because no, this they is pull totally inspiration. Pokemon. They pull mm -hmm. the inspiration from this, right? So it's like um, dragon Pokemon to me are like, they're not only like the classical dragons, but they're also things that have been in myth and lore. You know, yeah, like it's yeah. because a lot of dragons ha are just myth and lore. Um, mm -hmm. I do think that in real life, like, the reason that dragons are in every culture and all of that is that either one, we can talk about this on a on a Patreon episode if you guys want to, but either one, like dragons were really real at one point, like they were actually real. Yeah, dragons we should talk about this on that. Like, that would be yeah, fun. That they be were fun actually real, or that they were just the dinosaurs and people just like the Found legends their passed bones. down. Yeah. They passed down forever that like, oh, there was this oh. giant lizard looking thing and it that's they just called it a dragon, but really sure. it was just a dinosaur. Well and even anyway. even like current ones, like the Komodo dragon and stuff, even yeah. like Nile crocodiles. Dude, you know, dude, I mean, Nile yes, dude. Crocodiles. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you guys do that down south. Like literally I will forever live in the northeast. It's, it's other, just a seal to it. Other than the weather, it's the <laughs> so safest squirrel. place to live. There's like nothing here that could kill you. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, well. yeah, no, I mean, they're they're a problem. They kill people yeah. every once in a while. I, like Hilton Head, especially in South Carolina, someone dies to an uh, alligator like every year. Bro, for me, it's I'm alligators. Not, I think no, Seoul dude, has I can't do that. Though. I cannot no, 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 I, do I mean, that. I think we do, dude. but it's rare. Yeah. Um, Anyways, let's yeah. get back on track. So scholars believe large extinct or migrating crocodiles bear the closest resemblance, especially when encountering yeah. in for, uh, f yeah, forested or swampy areas and are most likely the template of modern Asian dragon imagery. All right. So that's straight up from Wikipedia. <laughs> but let's move on over now to uh, let's move on to the what is this called? The fandom, the dragons wiki. Um, there's all sorts yeah, of different so, types of dragons. So this right? is fantasy world. Yeah, this is the fantasy. Here, let me yeah, let me show my screen. This is fantasy <laughs> Moving world. Moving right? from human land to fantasy all world. All right, so we got standard <laughs> Western dragons, right? We got Oriental dragons. We got dragonette, which I don't know what that is. We've got wyvern it's a female dragon, I guess. I'm just I'm scared of what that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna click it. All right. The dragonette is a small dragon like okay. terrible terrors that doesn't mean. They're any less vicious on the battlefield. They're quite rare. Oh, so they're like tiny. Oh, they're yeah. human sized or smaller. Okay. That's Is this cool. for like a specific like game Charizard? Or I don't think so. <laughs> it might. It honestly might be. Yeah. Uh, like dragon species, dragons? yeah, Dungeons and Dragons. It is Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's sense. a good basis. Yeah. Yeah. But we got the standard this is Western where a lot of dragon. dragon lore comes from too. Yeah. Diagram showing the internal muscle structure of a dragon. So, uh, so Western dragons basically are like a crocodile but then it also has wings so it basically has what is that six limbs plus a plus a tail six so mm -hmm. seven limbs is kind of an easy way to define a western dragon this would be i think this is uh this is zekrom is a good example um salamence salamence is a great example salamence is the example yeah and these are kind of iconic at least to us people who live in the west um the, we got the, we got the chinese dragon or eastern dragon is like what it's Quasar. called yeah, we got Rayquaza. Um, well, what are some other ones? Basically, these are serpentine dragons. I mean, honestly, dragons. there's not many serpentine. Really I are. wish they'd make more. Because Dragonair oh, doesn't even I count. I similar to it. Mm, 
Because it's even called a serpent. Yeah. We've got the... Uh, the on here. We've got the wyvern, uh, which I think is a pretty... This is like maybe the second... Noivern. Most popular uh, an, an, an anatomical uh, like kind of template for a dragon, at least for a dragon Pokemon. This is where you have two legs, a tail, and... And your arms are also wings, right? I guess Charizard was another Eastern dragon. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Western. Yeah, Western dragon. But Wyvern is... That is Wyverns have always confused me, like, what, what the difference was, but you just pointed it out. And I don't know why until this yeah, very the, moment I didn't yeah. realize it. So that's the what arms we see. The wings. So Reshiram... Wyvern, Eveltal, yeah. which it, isn't a dragon, but, you know. And Reshiram and Zekrom, that, those are, like, to me, that's how I see the difference. Zekrom has, right... It's got like a human body, not a human body, but yeah, it's got. Zekrom's a little different. It's got but... No, Zekrom yeah, is. Its arms are separate from its legs. Yeah, and then it also has wings, right? Yeah, so it's not a wyvern. It's not a wyvern. It's, it's Zek, no, Zek, okay. Zek, yeah, yeah, sorry. We're, yeah, we're saying the same thing. It. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so in Reshiram is the wyvern, which. Okay. So that's kind of how I think about it. Zekrom does have like those things on its arms that look like wings. Right, that's but a it good has point. wings and that's, that's a good point. I, I do, I know, I just I'm just, when I think of it, I'm like, oh, it always had like the four wings thing, it's really weird, like the arm wings and the yeah. real wings. So we also have a Quetzalcoatl, which... Which we should have gotten in Paldea, just yeah. saying. And people love happen? this thing. People I thought, love this thing. Actually, I, I thought we did have something cool, like this, but... the feathered serpent. Isn't that what, um, isn't that what, uh, Winged King is based on? Uh, Karadon? A little bit. Nah, There's so many dragons. I mean, dude. You know, they're it's feathered, but it's not really a serpent. These are just like general. Um, this yeah. is more of what a uh, Crydon was, but sure. The cockatrice. There's just general like this is the cockatrice of dragons, and then there's like tons of specific dragon tails. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's different ones. Anyway, uh, this is like a chicken dragon. Yeah, the chicken dragon. <laughs> That's so cool. It's called a pseudo dragon. I wish dragon. this was our regional bird. We've got the we'll African get, we'll dragons. Get um. I've never even You know, heard that's of this. something I know very little about is African dragons. Yeah, well, but they I mean they do have like their myths of them. It's yeah, that's kind of interesting thing to too, right? Is that like every culture has like their mythos on them, you know? Like we've seen Native American on here, we've seen uh European, we've seen Asian, we've seen African, you know, yeah. everyone has a dragon. The African that's dragon saying, seems to be like they exist. Yeah, I the African exist, dragon seems pretty point. similar to the wyvern. We also have the hydra, which is a dragon that's depicted yeah. or, or um, characterized by multiple <laughs> heads. Uh, I'm sure many people have seen the story of Hercules, the Disney version. Uh, and then in Pokemon, we just got a new hydra, right? We got uh, yeah. Hydrapple. Hydrapple. We got Hydrapple. Uh, Hydragon is another uh, hydra. Um, it's Iron interesting. Douglas. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Iron Douglas. I think... I think it's actually really interesting that there's a lot of multi-headed Pokemon, but they're not all... Obviously, they were not all going to be dragon types, but come to think of it, I feel like Dodrio could be a I dragon. I was about to say, because <laughs> Dodrio was two, it's and then it evolved to a third. Even that, yeah. It, it's not a dragon, though. It, who, I will say... What I'll do you mean, dude? It, it could be a Cockatrice Hydra. Yeah, maybe a dude, little. Dude, let right? me tell you something. I've been saying for a while now, like, on, on my channel, I've even, like, mentioned it in, like, prediction videos... I want a Dodrio evolution that's five heads and they give it the dragon typing. That's cool. That'd be I'll... really cool. That would make it more a dragon to me. I, I got to push back on Hydrapple a little bit because Hydrapple is like a play on a Hydra because it's yeah. not actually a Hydra. Sure. It's actually seven just worms, those right there, right. Yes. just snakes. They're actually just snakes inside of an apple <laughs> all living together. And it looks like a Hydra because they all come out like this. Which yeah, is, that's, that's a really good epic. point. Yeah. So what Sol, what Sol is referring to is, for listeners, the worm is a serpentine dragon. I got this up on the screen right here. Normally of European origin. This is like the basilisk from Harry Potter or, you know, what is it? These the, are my uh, favorite ones. I the, the, I think of like, um, what is it? The, the, the worm from Tremors, like the, the sand. <laughs> Never seen it. Or, or uh, it I just watched the new Dune. It's not even new at this point, but the Dune movie where there's this giant... I feel like it's a worm, but it looks actually more like a, an actual worm. It looks, or how about uh, <laughs> the Alaskan bull worm from uh, SpongeBob? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so too, this, I'm you know, cool. oh, and then I, there's a couple more here that I haven't really heard of, but then we also have the Drake, which is kind of cool. This is, um, let's see, it, it's a word sometimes used synonymously with dragons. It looks to me 
more like a dinosaur though this is kind of like a four-legged there's no wings yeah so basically a drake is any kind of wingless four-legged dragon a smaller young dragon those are also called dragon lings Wormlings I wonder about it. this definition though, because since we're using Dungeons and Dungeons sure. and Dragons, it's like to me some of this is like uh, they kind of made this up. I mean, yeah, um, but I don't know. Maybe because Drake is just synonymously known as a dragon. That is well. true. So, yeah, I don't know if it's like they just classified like Triceratops as, as yeah. Drakes or what. But <laughs> well, know. so so it's maybe this according definition. According to Google, a Drake is a male duck. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Wait, look at, type in, uh... <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, is this is just, like, dragon fantasy lore. That's why I was saying we're going to fantasy land here. Yeah. Like... But okay, I think... Well, according to Korra, the difference between a dragon and drake largely depends on the source you're using. Um, sure. So, there you go. <laughs> they said, I mean. but most people refer to dragons as wings. Drakes, no wings. Yeah. Okay, so no wings. And, and that would so be the dragon first with no wings yeah i think the big thing here is to really just demonstrate to listeners like that there are a lot of different interpretations of what a dragon is right you might think a dragon is one thing but it really could be whatever like it could be all, a variety of these different things depending on the the source right like i think we all have a, a certain dragon that pops in our head when we say dragon like yeah. the, the body type yeah and um you know but there's 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 multiple of them yeah. It's so what's what is true... dragon you think of? Like the body type of dragon mm. you think of when someone says dragon. For me, it's is like it the Western Salamence, dragon, like a... dragon, Nair. I was going to say, is it weird that I think of a Pokemon first? But I mean, um... oh, that's that... what I thought he was asking. Like what no, Pokemon no, do you think of? Like, if I say dragon, like out of Pokemon, dragon, like what's the body type that comes I, to I your think head? Of a it's probably like Reshiram or me too. or Zekrom. Yeah. yeah, it's one. I mean, it, it's a winged massive beast okay but yours is bipedal dusty in your head when you think yeah. dragon uh, it you okay, know it I changes think, from time to time because when game of thrones was going on like i think those, of a game of thrones dragon yeah those are like iconic they're oh, I've never scaled seen come on lumi you've never seen game of thrones no i would say you should watch people hate on the later episodes but the dragons are no, the bad. cgi is sick in the later seasons so yes i like no, the, the dragon from shang chi i've never seen it what is that is that dude that's Marvel. Oh, Marvel. Shang-Chi Marvel, and yeah. the Legend of the Ten Rings. That was a great sure, movie. Sure, sure. I'm trying to remember the dragon, but I cannot. Dude, I it was, it was, it's called The Great Protector. You need to Google it right now. So, All right. So there's one more dragon here that I've actually never really seen. And again, this might not be what it actually... This might not be the best definition, but the, in Dungeons and Dragons, it calls it the uh, Amphithear. Amph- Amphithear. Um, Gotta say, I've never heard of it, but... And it's basically a, a legless winged serpent found in European heraldry. And this is kind of cool because, again, we see the feathers on these dragons. And, of course, which maybe this wasn't actually discovered until recently, uh, uh, but, you know, di- a lot of dinosaurs have wings, right? Um, which, yeah, was like a, yeah. which was a relatively new definition. Well, um, actually, I've so I've learned that apparently some things that I thought were dinosaurs actually are not dinosaurs. Like a pterosaur and a plesiosaur sure, are yeah. not dinosaurs. I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, that's just how people classify them, though. I mean, I, I think it's scientifically classified. Right. But it's still No, I like... did like a what will, you know, Inte paradox be, and all the comments are like, a pterosaur is not a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, you're like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> but like, it is... A dinosaur. Yeah, it's a re- it's it is to me who did not major in paleontology. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, but you yeah, know yeah. what it really is? It's like back in the day when I don't know when I was growing up. At least it, everything back in was my day, dinos- everything was just a dinosaur. And now these days, it's everyone's true. like, no, we have to get so specific about every single one. That's People not a just cloud, That's just dude. in the we get- family. Can we get a uh, a merch like a shirt that's of Soul just doing that like he just did, and it says "Back in my day" on it? <laughs> please, please do it. If you guys want to buy it, by the way, we should roll the merch ad now. I guess. Yeah. Run it. If you're enjoying this episode, please consider supporting Hidden Power on Patreon or YouTube channel members. Right now, we have four tiers, and the lowest membership starts at just $5 a month. Supporters get access to our secret Discord server and help control the direction of the podcast. Supporters also get access to our archive of bonus episodes. Okay, so our Discord honestly is popping. We have other creators in there, too, which is kind of fun. It ain't just the three of us. We're discussing leaks when they drop. We talk about news. We'll be talking about how SoulSilver art has 
has, you know, just garbage takes. It's so it's much fun. It's a place for us to connect. I'm in there every day. Also, we have revamped our merch store. So proud of every product that is in this store now. We have stickers, t-shirts, mugs, ball caps, right? The dad caps, these ball caps are embroidered. Look at this. It's literally an embroidered. So clean. You cannot get anything more high quality than that. I just got news. Do y'all hear that? Solbasaur says that he even <laughs> has his own merch. I'll talk for him. It's beautiful. Very cool designs. You guys should Very check it out. Japanese style. E even the front of the shirt has a unique logo. I'm getting one for sure. If you're invested in this show, invest in the show thank you so much for watching and now back to the video all right guys welcome back let's now talk about um the dragon type in the pokemon universe all right we're headed to kanto right so the dragon type is often considered an ancestral type as many legendary dragon type pokemon are revered as deities other dragon type cool. pokemon are frequently hard to catch and train they also evolve late and are relatively rare an interesting fact is that the stats of many dragon type pokemon surpass the stats of other types of pokemon and this is true in this ba basically i would say for the first five generations dragon type pokemon were seen as like literally probably a, a type of pokemon i guess it's like it's just it's above be it's better than all the rest right. right it's like closer to legendary than any other pokemon all of the all of the the god creators in the Pokemon universe, right? All the legendary creators, the legendary Pokemon, they're all dragon type at that point, right? Yeah, I'm playing I mean, through... we'll also think, like, the first the first gen, there was only one dragon line. It was really rare. It was the pseudo. Yeah. And even in Pokedex order, it comes between the birds and sure. Mewtwo. Yeah, dude, so. absolutely. And I think, so... I kind of at... like that. I kind of liked that, like, mm -hmm. that whole idea, that concept. But at the same time, and I haven't said this this whole time yet... Dragon type Pokemon are kind of like my favorite. Bug and Amen. Dragon are just it. I yeah. mean, you can't you can barely go wrong with the Dragon design. Bug and Dragon oh, are very cool, and yet we haven't been given a Bug Dragon. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's true. That's very pain. true. Pain. All I know is pain. And, and, and again, I just I guess what I just want to clarify for the context of of this podcast, right? So the Dragon type is a type. It's a it's a it's a elemental type. It's one of the eighteen elemental Pokemon types, um, but then there's also like I guess what we're what we've been talking about this whole time is that there's a lot of Pokemon that resemble what a dragon is in the real world, even though they don't necessarily have the dragon type. And that's going to be yeah, something that I we're going to go on to this talk is about. Canon. This is canon and Pokemon Masters. Yeah. Uh, there's like a a thing with Lance because Lance, you know, obviously yes, great was in Gym Lance, One. Too. And yeah, that Lance was, you know, in Gym example. 1, the only dragon was the Dragonite line. So he uses Aerodactyl, he uses Gyarados. I think later, like in Gen 2 or something, he might even use Charizard. But, uh, it, and he says in Pokemon Masters, like, oh, you're wondering why I use non-dragon type Pokemon. Well, it's because I'm a dragon trainer. Yeah. And there are Pokemon that aren't dragon type that are dragons. It, it's so basically, so it, like, confirming there that Gyarados, like... Aerodactyl, and Charizard are dragons yeah they so Lance, they yeah are. lance's team he has dragonite gyarados uh aerodactyl and charizard right i think he'll go on to have more pokemon and there's even there, you know there's other trainers like claire right that also trains it's gyarados kinda, it's yeah. kind of where it gets wild though in the pokemon fandom because now we have the people the fans like interpreting what's a dragon or not you know like because then yeah. we can go on one sure. side where it's like dodrio is a dragon or, you know... <laughs> that was you know. just an idea I said. I don't think anyone else has ever Gyarados, said that. You know, Gyarados is a dragon, which Gyarados is almost 100% a dragon. It should be, you know, but yeah. there's no confirmation of it being a dragon other than, I guess, what Lance is saying in Masters, but <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's yeah. very subjective, like, <clears throat> at this um, at this juncture. Yeah, that's true. Even, like, Iris, she uses non-dragon types on her team. She uses... um think she uses Archeops. I know she uses Lapras. She does use Lapras? Oh, yeah, I have it right here. So uh, this is the, yeah. in Black 2 and White 2, Iris, Agron the champion too. of the region, uses, uh, yeah, she uses three Dragon-type Pokemon from Unova. This is crazy. And then she uses Aggron. I didn't even know that. She uses Aggron, Archeops, and Lapras, none of which I'd, are I uh, definitely want to say Dragon as type. well, like, they, Pokemon, Game Freak, they always, like, add the fossil pokemon or like anything that's like old yeah or a dinosaur into the dragon type like or like mm -hmm. dragon type but uh, dragon pokemon. i 
Yeah, no, but they, they have done that, that, but I they think they gave it's... her Archeops and skipped out on Carcass. Exactly. That's what I was just going to say that. And they gave, right, they gave Swarm Lance <laughs> Aerodactyl and not Kabuto. Right? Mm-hmm. But, yeah. And Agron basically is a, is a, is a dinosaur. Archeops is an old dinosaur. And Lapras is mm-hmm. basically, what do you call that? A plesiosaur? Is that what it's called? An old dinosaur. An old. Well, yeah. also, too, Archeops comment that learns, and, and this is true with Lapras as well, but Archeops learns a lot of dragon moves. Does it? Mm. Yeah, like Dragon Breath. It gets, uh, I think it gets Dragon Tail. It gets Dragon Claw. Um,. This is a dragon breath is like yeah dragon breath by level up yep dragon breath is by level up and claw dragon Dragon claw is also uh, level up did they give her archaeops because it has dragon moves or did they give archaeops dragon moves so that she could use it well I would say they gave her archaeops (laughs) because it has dragon moves because she doesn't use archaeops and black and white but how about this black two and white two does agron use any dragon type moves no it has no dragon type moves. It, might, it learns some by TM, though. It like, does, It learns yeah. Dragon Claw by TM. But and not I think by level Dragon up. Dance, maybe. It gets Dragon Tail. That's really cool. I've never thought of Aggron as a Dragon type, but I kind of like that. I do kind of oh, like I, that. I get confused all the time if it's a Dragon type. Because I really? never really played Gen... Yeah, I never played Gen 3. And so, oh, like, yeah. I don't think about, like, oh, yeah, what type is Aggron? Mm-hmm. I always have, like, a split second where I'm like, it's Dragon and Rock or Dragon and Steel. And then I'm like, no way, it's just oh, Rock Steel. Dragon, dude, imagine it, it. It really should have been the first Dragon Steel type before it Duraludon. Is- Dude, that's you cool. Know that's cool. Yeah, Before Dialga. 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 Um, that's so kinda, cool. We've been talking about Triceratops, and you know that this is like actually our Triceratops Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. sure. <laughs> He's just bipedal. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> All right. So anyway. We'll, so yeah. So there are a lot of trainers uh, that specialize in the dragon type, and they've. I feel like they've always been ca- characterized as like that, that's like dragon types are the toughest thing to actually. Um, you know, to, to, to train, right? Because they're so powerful. I think there's also wow. maybe a conversation to be had about like, or, or like a, it, it, for me, I, I always feel like, you know, there's a lot of things that happen in, in generation one when Pokemon was first being established before it was like planned to be the juggernaut that it is. Right. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think they necessarily mm-hmm. knew it was going to go on for 30 years. So they would say things, right? Like Pokemon can die and that's why they're ghosts. Right. And then leave it up to us to try to figure out if that's the same type of ghost feature as a ghost type Pokemon, right? Same thing with dragon type, right? It's like, are they, it's like, would they have actually just called it reptilian, um, right? Or like reptile Pokemon, like Lance is a reptile uh, trainer sure? or something. I don't know. Yeah. No, it's true. It, it's very true about all Pokemon too. Like, well, it's more than you just brought up ghost type. So yeah. reptile as well. Like Gyarados is a fish, but it's a dragon, you know? Yeah. It's a dragon because of its lore, because right. of the the magic carp that goes up the waterfall and becomes a dragon. You know, right? And th- so, so there's also, really- s- but then I think there's also another conversation where it's like there's a lot of Pokemon that un- that are not dragon type, right? Like Charizard that unleash in in awaken a dragon typing, an actual mechanical in game dragon typing when they mega evolve, right? Or they undergo some sort of form change, and I think that's Just really three, interesting, right? Charizard, what? Septal, and Ampharos. Yes. Yep. Um, is it just them three? I, I don't know if the there's another one. Just those three. But yeah. um, but right, that would have been pretty cool if, if Agron unlocked that. Um, no, instead he loses his rock type. <laughs> yeah, he does. He should have lost the the rock type and got the dragon type. But anyways, like that's really See, interesting because I think that because there's also <laughs> there's also mega energy or what do you call it? I think there's just is dragon energy. Um, who mm-hmm. did that first video? Was it Loxton, maybe? I think um, Loxton, but I'm not sure. Toby might have done something, too. Yeah, but how, like, I guess, yeah, I guess every Pokemon, it's like there's a biological element to their typing, but there's also, like, the infinity energy of the type, it, right? Or It's yeah, like it the same with, thing that Terrapagos, like, gives off. Mm-hmm. It comes with, like, uh, like dragon lore of them yeah. that they're like magical creatures as well they're not just like regular lizard which i don't that's more it's crazy because i think it's like our modern culture has been influenced by like dungeons and dragons and yeah. stuff like that to to make it so that dragons have now are like magical creatures and i mean it comes from a lot of western and i guess eastern too but they were at one point just big lizards and now they're like sure. magical dragons so 
that's that's kind of where that comes from. So they in Pokemon, basically, a lot of Pokemon is just completely backed up by infinity energy or just a special kind of energy. And like dragon energy is like its own thing, just like how fairy energy is kind of its own yeah, thing. Yeah, that's true. All that. That is true. So like yeah. dragon energy really or dragon type really is two of it's it's I guess that c- to conclude those are it's 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 either one of those two things it's either the dragon energy that is unleashed and it just so happens that a lot of uh reptile pokemon right which is their which is their physical appearance or their anatomy also happen to possess that dragon energy kind of like how well, the bug right like a lot of like a lot of bugs are bug type yeah. because they just are Whatever, whatever that's called. An insect. Yeah, I think, insect, yeah. I think like <laughs> the uh, they do make a point to like like Lance is said to be a dragon trainer. They don't necessarily call him a dragon type trainer. Mm. They call him a dragon trainer. You know, and there's yeah. there's like the trainer classes like dragon tamer so and so, and there's uh you know like bird keeper. Well, bird's not a type. You know, so it, that's it's true. Able yeah, to branch birds, outside of flying, flying type. You Dude, know? that's yeah. so true. Yeah. That's so that that is the unlock for me. I, I'm convinced now that dragon was supposed to be something. Actually, no, I'm not convinced because bird actually was in the code of the Gen One games to be its own type. So I'm actually not convinced. Dra- there's dragon. Yeah, I don't, it's just yeah. a common trope in Pokemon types. Like mm-hmm. there's just there's like physical type of the Pokemon, and then there's the actual right like, type of the like Pokemon. you know like. If all you know, living things are, or, or all animals are Pokemon, right? Like they still have classifications based on like birds, fish. You know, they still have that. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. a fish tr- tamer. <laughs> I mean, they have they have fishing competitions, right? They do. No, they uh, really do. The You're right. World, so. And there are fish Pokemon. Fish tamer. Right. There are fish Pokemon, um, but those have but those are water type. Fishermen. Right? Yeah, yeah just, exactly. Yeah. Class. That's a mm. fish tamer. That's true. The just, fish tamer trainer. That is true, dude. Just like how there were like a lot of fairy type, fairy Pokemon before the fairy type. That's interesting. Yeah. Maybe that's where we have to look to see what the new type would be if we ever get a new type. It's like if there if there is a, uh, like a, yeah, a trope among Pokemon. It would be like cosmic or something. <clears throat> yeah. I don't I think wonder. they'd call it stellar to differentiate it from yeah. the stellar type, but I I think that um. It would be like cosmic because there's a lot of cosmic Pokemon that, even though that's not type, that's true. Yeah, I'll 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 have to look into that. That's that's really that makes me curious. Um, all right, so let's start with, here we go, pure dragon type Pokemon. Okay, is this the best place to look at it? Did you have another one up or? Um, when we could do, what do you want to do by generation? I don't know. I don't know. I just saw it before we started that you had other. He had like a Wikipedia page or whatever. This yeah. looks good though too. It's this, kind of like, this, this is a little bit bigger. Them for like the, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I That's think they're good. a little bit bigger. So let's start with pure dragon type Pokemon. And there is something there as well, which I haven't really thought about in a while, but like, you know, I think the types that a Pokemon have I think they do matter. Like the order of which they have a type does matter. And I and I'll say this, most of the Pokemon that are pure dragon type basically just are lacking any sort of additional feature. That's kind of how Pokemon types work, right? Uh, like we see Dratini and Dragonair, which I honestly think could be Dragon Water type, but they aren't. Yeah. Because once they evolve, uh, once Dragonair evolves into Dragonite, it gets the flying type because it gains wings. Although Dragonair has wings on its head, so yeah, and they Dragonair can fly been normally. Flying too. After yeah. I think they realized it later on because yeah. they, Dragonair didn't really. I don't know actually. In also, anime, in most games, you fish. But. In the anime, it, it flew. It flew in the debut episode. Yeah. And in most and, and in most Pokemon games, you you fly. fish to find it's these Pokemon. Here to Japan. So they should be water type. But these are based uh, yeah, on should, worms. Aren't they found in in the water too? Like Dratini's found in the lake or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you fish for that. Zone. Yeah. I mean, you and have even to use Dragonite like as always like associated usually with like the sea. Like it talks about how it saves sailors by guiding them back. There's yeah. a Dragonite island in the middle of the ocean. That's, true. that's that's one thing you didn't cover before, Dusty. Was there's also sea dragons, which this is kind of like yeah. a sea dragon, which is. Kind of a worm, but Dungeons yeah. and Dragons didn't have sea dragons listed. No sea dragons. I, so, and I think, and we'll t- again, we'll talk. Well, let's not. I don't want to jump ahead. I think after we talk about all the existing dragon type Pokemon, we're also going to be talking about all of the 
non-dragon type Pokemon that should be or could be dragon type uh, or yeah. could be considered that. So um, I don't think I don't think Dratini and Dragonair are the only sea dragons, but Definitely this was yeah. oh no. So these were the first uh, these were the first dragons in Generation One. Literally, Dra- Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, and Generation Two. I'm kind of jumping ahead. We did get um, Kingdra. We, yeah, we got Kingdra. So the horsey line got an additional but uh, evolution. With yeah. we got Kingdra, but we lost Beta Kingdra. That's true. We did, which would have been pretty cool. Rest in peace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just moment of silence. That's in the chat. Moment of silence. <laughs> I'm in tears okay. right now. How <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I sound? So another Pokemon is uh, Bagon and Shellgon. Again, just like flightless dragons. You know, right? Bagon really like he doesn't really look too much like a little dragon to me. Yeah, he, I don't what, know what, what else would he be? Like a dinosaur more, I guess. Yeah, but that, that pronounced, gets the dragon. Am type. I the only person that pronounces Aegon. that Bagon? No, it's I Bagon. Mean, there is no Y. There it's is ba- no Y. It should be Bagon. I always but. name my Salamence Bagons. Or something to do with the Hobbit. That's, good. That's a good name. <laughs> That'd be a good one. I'm looking um, up the Serebii pronunciation. And, and I'll tell you this: people say Bagon, but it doesn't make any sense. I guess it does because it, it's gone. It's Bagon. In, yeah, but in English, you can pronounce a as in a or ah. Uh, you know, I so Pokemon. Ba, ba, yeah. ba, ba, Bagon. I okay, think. Um, so according to Serebii, it is pronounced. Drum roll, Bagon. please. Bagon. It's yeah, a baby. bag on. It's a bit baby. I'm not going to change it. I still call it. I say Rayquaza. It's, it's a baby Rayquaza. gone. That's what it is. A baby dragon. Um, yeah. yeah, it doesn't look like a dragon to me that much. Dusty, yeah. have you learned how to pronounce the legendary of the Indigo disc yet? Terrapagos. I, I I I go back and forth. I try, when I think about it, I go, you get confused on which one's which, which is correct. Terrapagos. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to be better in the new year. Um, <laughs> my counter for saying Terpagos is now up to two because I just said it. Uh, but <laughs> I'm going to be better. Counter down there. I lasted 30 I, minutes. So I actually watched another YouTuber that was saying it like you. you know, thank like, you. Oh, thank Some you. really committed fan is going to count how many times Dusty says Terpagos yeah. this Terapagos. year. That's, that's, that's Lumi that's asking you guys to count. Yes, yes. it is. <laughs> Please That's don't exactly don't do right. it. There's better know, things to do with strategies. your strategies. There's better things. Yeah, actually, no. Leave a comment for the engagement. So we've got Bagon, <laughs> Shellgon, which I love their story that Bagon wants to fly so bad that it keeps mm-hmm. jumping off of cliffs until it can fly, and that's why it has that hard, uh, leathery, um, you know, callus on its head or whatever you want to call that. Um, Is it leathery? Yeah. <laughs> so it's or what, what would you call it's that? A it's piece of metal or rock or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's I think got it's got rock head yeah, as an ability. It's a scale. It's a a scale, scale, yeah. Scale's a better term. And I guess I, how I always imagine is like it should be rock type. I feel like a rock yeah. type Salamence would be sick, right? Like what if it just kept jumping off and it never learned how to fly? It would eventually become a rock type, dragon rock type. I think it's more like regional it has, Salamence. You know, like dragons, like the the one in The Hobbit, actually. Yeah. Like they have like <laughs> impenetrable scales. Yeah. I think that that's what this is. Like even when it evolves into Shellgon, it yeah. just it gets covered in the scales to like yeah. hide itself, kind of thing. Can I take Which a moment cool. to say that like one of the coolest Easter eggs in Pokemon surrounds this line, and that is in Sun and Moon. There is a cliff, and you yeah. can find Wild Bagon on it. But there's a greater chance to find Wild Bagon if you go down the cliff and search in the grass below the cliff. Really? Yeah, it's not by is... much, but I think it's like one percent versus five percent chance. That's and it's really really cool. Because they're jumping off the cliffs. That's so cool. It's nice that at least they don't just die, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they don't die. They're surviving this whole. Situation. I mean, you know, like fifty percent of them live. So. Oh, you know, we didn't even say this. Uh, I, I would say generation three, generation four. Most legendary, po- sorry, most dragon type Pokemon were also pseudo legendaries, um, which is basically it goes along characterized. With the yeah, they're rare. They're powerful with six hundred base stat total, um, and they evolve. You know, they they they, they need a lot of experience. Um, I, I think I think these Pokemon were also characterized like their strength was characterized with some of these mechanics. Um, which made it feel like when you actually did acquire um, one of these dragon types, it's like, okay, this is going to be the best Pokemon. And it really was. It was as strong as legendary Pokemon. Definitely. It's cool that they did that. It really, really cool. I want to keep 
keep chugging on because we can't <coughs> stay too long on yeah. on each line. So we got Bagon, Shellgon. These guys are Axew, dinosaurs. Yeah, Axew, Fracture, and Haxorus are really cool. Um, They're just dinosaurs. Yeah, but they Literally. gave them these like really cool tusks um, mm-hmm. that basically char- like were characterized. Should have uh, been Dragon Steel. Again, another that's a great point. Yeah, I think Drudagon is also a really cool. Dragon Pokemon. Rock. Was Drudagon He's the a- first standalone Dragon type Pokemon? Like one stage. No. There was, I mean, one stage. Oh well, first you're saying one stage. Other than legendaries, Single yeah, stage. sure. Other than legendaries, and it's just dragon yeah. type. I've always liked Dragon for that. I think it's really cool. You find it in caves. It's a cave dragon. This and this would be a eastern dragon. No, because it's I got wings. This is like very similar to a western dragon. I think I follow Maybe the Lumi's colors. Theory. I never saw it before, but like that it's, it's a gargoyle. supposed to be a gargoyle. Yeah, like, I it think is. that it is like it really supposed to be about like, how yeah. it like some bays, but it can't for too long or it'll yeah. like freeze up and stuff, you know. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Like a gargoyle. And then we got the Gumi line. Uh, this is a pseudo legendary that was uh just it's all, just dragon type again. Why? Probably could have made like it water. This is a dragon. Probably this is the made ones where I'm like this shouldn't I don't be like dragon. You're type. a dragon. What else would you it be? Shouldn't be, be dragon, dragon types. Type. Like Gudra could be a dragon, okay, but the other two shouldn't. And it should have been dragon water. It should be dragon water, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. This is actually this is one where... of the ones that bugs me the most, actually. Well, okay, for me it doesn't bug me because this sure is actually dragons. what I want more of. I want more Pokemon that are like legendary versions, legendary reptilian versions of not reptiles of not dinosaurs right this oh, yeah, is no, the a only dragon thing that snail. bugs me about it is that it doesn't have the water type but gudra is genuinely right behind dragon eyes it looks my, like a dragon uh, second favorite pseudo it's like what the if the only a thing that dragon bugs was a slug? me is that it's it's their snails and slugs and then they become a dragon so like the snail that's cool slug dragon it is cool it's a cool concept don't get me wrong okay there will like like never snails. be there will never be a more iconic moment to me in Pokemon leaks history than when Gumi leaked online. Like, yeah. everyone was asking this guy who had the game, they were like, who's the pseudo? Who's the pseudo? And the guy posted a picture of just little Gumi just sitting there and said, this is the pseudo. And everyone was like, no! You know? <laughs> <laughs> and like, Don't get me wrong, I love it, Gumi. They were taking pictures of him putting like, this is not the face of mercy and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I loved it. I, I love Gumi, don't get me wrong. It's just Gudra. It should be water. It should be water. Type. It should be dragon water. There yeah. is a dragon that is a slug that lives underwater, and that's what I think this is even based off. Yeah, of. yeah, yeah. But they just didn't. They just missed the boat. Um, I think it's. Boat. I think it's good. I think <laughs> missed the mark. The I like the I colors. I like how they weird and sluggy it is. Just missed the boat. <laughs> I, I think no Gudra maybe needed one more thing. It looks a little bit too like doopy. I don't know. Like I feel like it. It could it could probably use something. It needed else. the shell and it got it, and that's why Hisui and Gudra that's is. That's true. Great. No, stop it. It is great. It's so much but better. Look at this detail, though. Look at his. T- oh, Lumi froze. Look at the. Are you there, Soul? But I am frozen. Okay, here I am. No, we're here. Oh. We're good. We're we're not stopping. What, did we, what was your did point? We lose, did we lose? Uh, what I said? Yeah, just just no. Yeah, I did. No, just no, keep talking. Good. I didn't hear. We it. heard it. We I didn't hear it that okay. much. I didn't hear oh, it. You didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. Keep talking. Um, so Gudra, if you look at its tail, it you can tell it used to be a shell. Yeah, because like it squirrels up. It's a design because it, it twirls. Yeah. And you can also see the shell on Slagoo, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Basically, my main point my is favorite. I like I want I like dragon type Pokemon. As soon as they started introducing these types of po- these dragon types with that like did not look reptilian. Like literally, we have all of these like the softest looking dragon type was like Dratini for so long every other one got more and more fierce and then they were like yeah let's make it a little bit goofy and i like that i i want but also we can go back to what I we were like looking that, at yeah we can go back to what we were looking at before and see that dragons are not really soft looking in general <laughs> so it's like i think like maybe the not classic those. dragons are not i let's, know this is pokemon but i think, I think they it's can look fine. goofy i am fine with the soft dragon as, as long as it's a majority as long art. as like there's there's a representation of both, right? Like, mm-hmm. yes, we got Gudra, and that's not as draconic looking, but we got Noivern in that gen too. Yeah. So, Where's our deer know? dragon, right? This is the dragon I need in my life. I think this is what I was talking about, where it was like someone saw a giraffe and thought it was a dragon, and sure. you can kind of see that. I can totally see that. It's even got I, the. It even has like the 
the the molars that are used to like gnaw on leaves all day. It yeah, literally yeah, has that true. same thing. I've, yeah, I've like not dragon done... or giraffes, not dragons. Giraffes have antenna, and you can they see do, how they easily yeah. antlers. You know, that's true. I've not drawn many fake mon in my life, but I did one fake mon once, and it was just random on a notepad, and it was a dragon that had deer antlers. Not nice. based on this. I just did you it. You still that have way. the design. I do. I might have to pull it up for yeah, you guys. Pull it eventually. up. Do it. Look, yeah. This is I don't one. Know if I can right now. Unless you want. Oh, to we'll pause send or whatever, it. But... Send it because yeah. I want to see it. Oh, it's just drawn somewhere. I gotta find it. But I always wanted to make it into a Pokemon because it's just like, man, I want a dragon with deer dragon. antlers. That's you know? Deer yeah. antler dragon. But you got sea yeah. serpents, wyvern. We really could talk about this. Forever. Here you go. This was the yeah. We didn't even talk about basilisk. There's these were a little more. Uh, behemoth that's like biblical yeah this is crazy there really are so many dragons but basically so yeah i just want to see more regular pokemon it's... that are inspired sorry more dragon type pokemon that are inspired by random things right if you guys don't know by now i'm just like a walking contradiction but so like <laughs> this <laughs> no i am but so this is a perfect example of like the opposite of what we were going to do in this video and just be like those guys are dragons that maybe shouldn't be dragons to me but yeah. at the same time i do like when they take something that's not supposed to be something and turn it into it you know what yeah. i mean like so a, a snail that is a dragon is a cool concept i just don't i've like always said one of my favorite genres if not my favorite genre of pokemon is aquatic animals that are not water type yeah mm -hmm. like Graplocked and stunfisk malamar you know yeah, yeah, for sure. We've got um, uh, another guys... Gen 7 pseudo-legendary is Jang Mo. Oh, we'll talk about this a little bit later, but this is a monotype uh, in Gen 7. And then Reggie Drago is the first uh, pure dragon legendary Pokemon. Um, this was added to the Reggie trios in Generation 8. It's kind of cool because it seems to be a depiction of pure dragon energy. Literally just its arms are the maw of a dragon, and then its um, its body is just... Uh, like an energy beam, right? That and it yeah, literally I mean, does that's that. What it says is that Regigigas just made it out of dragon energy. It's crazy, right? So that's, that's really Charizard. cool. Yeah, it does look it's like Charizard. That, huh? It's like an ancient Charizard. All right, you know so who else is Charizard? Hydrapple is Charizard. You didn't yeah, think that I we got a Charizard mean. form, but we did. That's gonna be <laughs> one of my tweets soon. Just don't steal it. Bye. <laughs> that's that's something I would say. <laughs> Tweet it right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, going to so, have to now that I, this is coming out. So something else that was kind of bothersome, something I didn't really like that much, was Don't that how many... hate Dragonite right now? No, just how many dragon flying types there were, right? So uh, many sure. dragon flying types, which makes a lot well, of sense. Well, it's because they had to negate it. They had to, like, give dragon sure. a week. Yeah, that's a really good point. That's actually a really good point. And it wasn't until... So, and we didn't talk about type weaknesses, but dragon is only weak... Sorry, dragon... Is dragon type is only strong against dragon type, and dragon type is only weak against dragon type. That is, it's that's how it's characterized no, uh, with, it's weak with the type chart. Well, oh no, yeah, you're right. You're when right, you're it right. first, sorry, when I was first came gonna out, set it up back back in my day. Back in my day, when generation it first one came out. It was only weak to dragon and dragon. It wasn't weak to ice in Gym One. No, it was weak to it was weak to ice. Ice, ice, it was. It, it was yeah, weak was to ice say. as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, but, but what it. I. Yeah, I sucked, so but it's only it good against other dragon <laughs> types, right? And it, and I think that helps characterize that it was also like not that good of a, like an offensive type, but it was really just an attribute. It was like, well, what are you? You're a dragon. What is your other type? Well, you're also psychic type because you're Latios, right? Oh, you're also I mean, it was, ground type because you're a land shark. It was a good shark. type, honestly, though. Like it, it was a good. It type was because it, no one was bringing an ice type because, like Sol said, ice types were not good and then it also dragon types typically are stronger they typically get a wide variety of moves i mean look at dragonite that thing gets like the elemental punches earthquake yeah you know uh steel wing it gets all kinds of things extreme speed uh so it, it was good in that regard it was yeah and and they introduced the steel type after generation one to resist dragon type so that becomes a wall um and then also yeah, it's basically fairy was also introduced to become uh, an immunity, right? To or, or a hard counter to the dragon type, and then yeah, it's weak. So then, so dragon type is weak to ice, dragon, and fairy now. But it dragon type resists all of the elemental types, like the starter elementals: fire, water, grass, electric. I always love that so much. It's like those most basic elementals 
um, that you get a starter Pokemon, right? Or maybe your first electric type in the beginning of the game is all all of your your pr- probably your favorite Pokemon and, and strongest Pokemon on your team is going to be resisted by whatever dragon type uh, is shown up. So that that it, has always functioned to, really well. It used to be very much like a legendary type like Psychic was. Yeah. Do you know why it's weak to ice? I have a theory on it. Um, it's not really that funny. I mean, it's not really that. Uh, the ice age? I don't really know. They froze to death. Yeah, yeah. he got it that's it that is literally it wait what I that, oh the no, dinosaurs it, because i was i was talking with my family over christmas actually about Ooh. all the lizards around us and they just like disappear when it gets cold out oh. and then i was like oh yeah that's how all the dinosaurs died because literally they're cold-blooded and if there was an ice age ice age just wipe them out in two seconds you know that's kind of i think that that's where it came from it's just that because they're cold-blooded like in the yeah, yeah, they're cold blooded. World. Yeah, or, boom! Yeah. Ice type kills reptiles, and that's why they resist fire, right? Or a good explanation for why is because they sunbathe and stuff, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's warm. different theories about what wiped the dinosaurs out too. I just, you know. yeah, yeah. They, Someone like, in the comments is like, actually, actually, it was <laughs> meteors. <laughs> the meteors took them out. Yeah. It was the aliens. <laughs> it was the aliens. It was the aliens. <laughs> All right. It was LGM. Yes, BGM. that's LGM. so true. Oh, LGM. It was the ah, type. LGM, yeah. The other, the other legendary type. Anyway. So okay, so Dragonite, Dragon Flying type, Altaria, which also was the was one of the first non pseudo dragon types. Altaria dragon is Flying type one that shouldn't be a dragon in my. No, what, but no, it should be a dragon. Chinese dragon, isn't it? It's based off I of. Get, um, yeah, yeah. It's like a phoenix looking thing. I think I it's a cockatrice. Right, it's either a cockatrice or it's the, uh, it's the, empathier. No, these are different. These are like a snake with just wings. Sure, that's really a good cool, point. Actually. Kind of okay, so it is based off of a a thing called the, uh, um. Okay, it says it resembles a cockatiel, but it is based that's on the said. the ping. I guess is how that's pronounced. I don't know what it's that is. A Chinese legendary bird of enormous size, said to travel three thousand enormous li and one flap of its mighty cloud-like wings. See, that's so cool. It's literally what it is. I love that. I love that so I much. Get it, but it doesn't look like a dragon. <laughs> I think it does. It's, it's a bird. It, you know oh, what they did? They gave it the same so bluest it's elements. Named, it's Japanese name, um, they think might be in reference to the uh, Draco constellation as well. Mm. Like, so they think it might pull inspiration from the Draco constellation. But come on, Soul, it's also way, so way more interesting than normal flying type because they would have given it normal flying type. Oh yeah, they would have. Definitely, would've definitely been I, agree. I agree. It's so cool. I, I think it's awesome. It just, it's like, a great addition. Maybe just give it a little bit more like dragon esque. Kind of vibes, yeah, not yeah, even yeah. like reptilian things. Maybe just like a more a, a sharper. Like, you see, beak? like it's two. Yeah, the two things on its head are like really flowy and. Uh, That's fine, dude. Dra- come on, no, no, no so I know. I'm it, not giving you that. We needed more of that. We needed more okay, of that. Okay, okay. I, I get what That's you mean. What I get what you mean. It does look like a bird. Maybe the tail feathers, the blue tail things. feathers, could be longer as well yeah. and kind of flowy themselves. Yeah, that would have made it more dragon looking to me, like Eastern dragon flowing kind of thing. Anyway. Dragonite kind of looks like a hippo too. It's got like a hippo mouth. But anyways, we we, we, we we gotta start like working through these. So Dragonite is like just Pete the Dragon. That's yeah, it. you're like Pete the Dragon. So we have, we have Salamence, another dragon flying type, which is like a better power creep version of Dragonite. Then Salamence, my... I like Dragonite more, but Salamence is, in my opinion, the perfect dragon. It's so cool. It's so cool. It's like Salamence is game freak like we have to do a western dragon what can yeah. we do this is it the most classical yeah. western dragon and it was perfect yeah do it so, again so this it's uh, bland these next two pokemon got a little bit so we have latios and latias which i love so much i think these are some of the best pokemon designed period uh but it does get a little bit tricky because the dragon Aww. type pokemon they <laughs> made they really made them all flying dragons but they gave them the psychic type which is interesting uh, so they had to also give it the levitate ability. This is when it starts getting a little bit confusing. Um, but I think these are really cool designs. It, they what gave these? it psychic type because psychic was the legendary type kind of thing. That's, that's true, like, yeah. Literally why Mewtwo, it's, like, it's kind of dumb to me. It, but with psychic type, you can use telekinesis to fly. I yeah. think that they, it still covers it. But yeah. Anyway. Rayquaza is that uh, that eastern drag. Uh, yeah, eastern dragon. And he's perfect. That's perfect. It really is so he's cool. He's perfect. Yeah. 
it looks like a legendary. Perfect shining as well. What do you guys think about Gibble? Gibble, Gabby, Garchomp. The it's based so off of a shark. These are sharks. Sure, shark. shark. You know, like well, this is no, cool. this is what it's I love. It's a shark. Well, but I it's think a shark dragon. It's also it's cool. got some jet inspirations from it, and Latios mm-hmm. and Latios are yeah. jets. So jets are dragons. <laughs> uh, it's true in Game Freak's mind. I guess. Yes. <laughs> This is what no. This, this is honestly what I like. Like I do, I can totally see, I see it. It's a dragon and a shark, and a, I don't even know what a land shark is, right? And it's it's anthropomorphic. It's, anthro- yeah, it's a shark that's on land. It's not real, Dusty. Yeah. So I think I think this is so cool. These are the type of dragons that I started to get really excited about. Dragon type Pokemon, right? We got Reshiram and Zekrom. I'm playing through Gen Five right now, and it's ridiculous. How Why much- would you do that? Yeah, well, yeah, we're about to do it again. So no, we got a year until that comes out. <laughs> so I'm, would you, you do that? You have ten months. My Listen guy. to me. So we're, I'm playing through. Play I'm, I'm playing through. Again. I'm playing through black version, and it's ridiculous. How I didn't remember how much they emphasize Reshiram and Zekrom as they literally write it out as the dragon, the dragon. type Pokemon or the dragon Pokemon. Um, and I did not know they emphasize that so much because the Gen Four legendaries are dragons, right? Um, I think also they are, I guess but it's really this is them. more important, right? It is. And now that we're here at the year of the dragon, they were the dragons. They these, really these were. These are the dragon yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it is a very big point that that Palkia and Dialga were dragons as well, actually, in Giratina. So like, it just why weren't they the dragons? But this is the ultimate dragon. You know what I'm saying? Totally. So it's like here we are. Did y'all ever realize that Tri Attack? Yes. Is fire electric ice, and yes, this trio is fire electric ice. I heard you, you know, say that was... on in your video, and I've yeah, hundred yeah. percent. I've thought of that before. I think it's. I cool. always wondered, like, what would the ultimate dragon be typed? You know, like because you would want it to be fire electric and maybe ice psychic, somehow. maybe. Yeah, but then you got dragon. Look, Normal. Look, 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 someone someone left this comment on my video. They were like, "Give it an ability to." Uh, make it have the fire electric and ice type along with dragon look they, they get they stab on all those some weird stuff man let's do it make it happen i mean that's the thing is i mean we can do a whole episode on them on they get stab on idea. every special type because, because even because... even it's it could be pure dragon and just yeah. like it could be yeah, pure yeah. dragon and just like have an ability that gives it stab for electric yeah. fire and ice moves well if we're going into gen 5 remakes or whatever after right after Paldea Gen 9 Terrastal like we could be going into Terrastal Gen 5 and so if there is an ultimate dragon on the way it could be Dude, I don't want a Terrastal like I do not want the original dragon with a Kiram on top with a Zekrom on top with a Reshiram oh, no. on None top none of us want that <laughs> well, if it helps Dusty on the very top would be the baby turtle <sighs> yeah Dude, because that is the crown that's it goes awful. on every Pokemon you know what's crazy <laughs> I want a little mini Zekrom crown. Like, you, you it's get just the a little Zekrom sitting there, just looking. You know, <laughs> I would like that more than the turtle thing. I would too. Yeah. So you, know, you get like the little, the white ball, the white orb, and that's the crown from now on in in the Unova region. I hate it, dude. I hate it so much. Let's move on. We haven't even done it's a proper DLC episode. Just the eyes of Patrat up there. Yeah. So another <laughs> legend. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, that's awful, dude. Or it's like the it's is the original dragon. You heard it here first. No, I hate oh that dude gosh. so much. It's it's just a Bulldor. Um, all right, Zygarde is another dark Bulldor. I'd take that. That'd be kind of cool. So we have Zygarde, another dragon ground type, um, ground because it's supposed to like protect the earth and the ecosystem, and it's snake. This is a uh, this is a basilisk, right? It's a cobra <laughs> or a worm. I don't. Well, it's a dragon, right? Go. It must yeah. be inspiration from. Yeah, it's. A, I can see the cobra. This um, is kind of the one of those where it's just like, oh, it's a snake, so it's a dragon. Kind yeah. I think it's a worm, like a W Y R M. Technically, that's what it should be classified as. I think. Sure, yes. that's true. Yeah, we got Hakamo'o and Kamo'o. Uh, these are dragon fighting type. This is another one of the pseudo legendary Pokemon, and these would be. I guess by the definition of Dungeons and Dragons, it would be a Drake, but this is really just a wingless. Uh, dragon. It's really just a. It's a. It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. That's all it is. But right? it's it Komodo is kind dragon. of a dragon. It is a dragon too. It's just. It's just like very. It's crazy how in Alola and Gen Seven they they really went with the theming. You know, like yeah, it's very they actually did Pacific Islander vibes mm-hmm. to it. Like its name is Hakamo'o. 
the, the yeah. middle one, which is like Dude, from the Hakka. My brain you know? was like, what? There's hyphens? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Tapu I mean, Hello Coco. did it first. I was like, what? Oh, oh, did do it. The first. weirdest one was Titan Old. Yeah. Just its name was. And then now we have, like, you know, actual on it. Yeah. Iron we, Crown. I'm convinced they, they conceptualized Paradox Pokemon alongside the Ultra Beast. I'm sure whatever we're getting next, whatever wild thing we're getting next, I'm sure they've already conceptualized what that's actually going to be. Right? For sure. For sure. Um, a Komoo, I think it gets the dragon typing from it's based off on a, a Komodo dragon. Yeah, yeah. You know? So. Oh, sure, dude. I didn't even think about the Komodo dragon. Kom- that's Komoo. Komodo. That's true. Yeah. All right, so we got Dreepy, Drac, uh, Drac Cloak, and Dragapult next from the Galar region. These are dragon and ghost type, which is really cool because a ghost type, we'll probably do a whole other episode about just ghost typing, but ghost type kind of falls into the same category as dragon type where it's a physical attribute, kind of like the bug type, um, where, so it, it's interesting to think, you know, it, it's actually, it has both of these things. Um, it, it, I'm pretty sure it's based on the spirit of this old type of aquatic lizard or, or maybe mm-hmm. not a lizard um, it's a dinosaur again it was an yeah. amphibian i think it's another oh it's 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 old so dragon yeah, yeah exactly but it's so old it's dead so it's a ghost yeah and then the That's first kinda... dragon normal type is cyclozar this it's is based the diplocalus okay in case anyone cared it is an amphibian interesting it's a it's a really good pokemon i think it's a good type I, I as want well. a, a like a legends game where the pseudo is a dragon water this and it's still alive. Yeah. They that would be really cool. A little better than it would be. Dude, great. that's got to be a whole other video we got to do. Just like <laughs> fossils and what types they would have. I don't and... know if we're going to get to the second part of this no, video. No, no, we're <laughs> rushing through this. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> let's rush through this so we can actually get to the fun part. Um, I mean, this one of these are dragons. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying yeah. this. Cyclozar <laughs> is a lizard, Tatsugiri is sushi. Uh, Frigibax is a di- is a is not a... even a dragon roll. The opportunity was right there, man. Yeah, I don't. Tatsugiri is a weird one to me. I love Tatsugiri. I, it's a fish. I love, I love it, it. Yeah, but I like, love it. It's not a dragon. Does it feel good as a dragon type? I think I it know. does, dude. I think it does. <laughs> Should Gudra have been a dragon water type, and this just something else? I don't know. <laughs> what else would you make this? I think this. I think this is like. I mean, it's a. It's also a food Pokemon, so I, I do. I can. Mm-hmm. I, I appreciate really, it it's inherently. Just a fish. You should be the fish tamer. You dusty fish tamer. <laughs> I, honestly, my first. I th- I'm pretty sure my first icon for my channel was a. I commissioned art of me as like a fisherman with a pokeball at the end, just like fisherman gen- dusty. Yeah, literally. Um, <laughs> but anyways, Cyclozar's dragon normal type, which doesn't make any sense because there are so many just plain dragon type Pokemon. Um, that don't have the normal type. Not saying that they necessarily should. He but does what, look it. You though. know. You know he what was? It. Yeah, because he well, because Cyclozar's he looks like a dragon. Normal type, or he looks like a lizard. Well, the deal was that we had Coridon dragon fighting. We had Miradon dragon electric, and yeah. everyone was going, "Oh, I wonder what Terrapagos would be dragon psychic, maybe." Yeah. No, they told you it's just pure normal. Yep, that's true. That stinks, dude. The ba- the Artibax line, Baxcalibur line is like they're dinosaurs. Yep. Uh, but Excalibur's not... got some Godzilla in them. He does. Is, yes, yeah. yeah, that's true. Technically a dragon. There's a they're not, the, they're not the typical dinosaur that everyone thinks. It's not a Spinosaurus. Yeah. Even though people think that. I, don't, I forget the name of what it actually is, but it's not that. Um, it's, a, it's a fin guy. Yeah. And then and we have... Roaring Moon is just another Salamence. Yeah, it's like an cooler. evil Salamence. It's like the villain. If... if if Salamence, I never actually thought about this, but Salamence is this based... is Darth Vader to Salamence as Luke Skywalker. Well, no, I, yeah, that it is because because I'm pretty sure Salamence is based on a Japanese superhero, if I'm not mistaken. It even has the same oh, coloring. Yeah. It is, it is. So this is Dragon Dark type, which is the it's basically yeah, it's the villain for whatever that is, which is kind of cool, or the corrupted I never, version. I never thought of it like I that. didn't either, but I'm just looking at the typing. You're right. So the yeah. next, so the next group of Pokemon we have is secondary dragon type Pokemon. These are Pokemon that have oh primarily uh, a oh, we different type, and then dragon is just kind of an additional thing. And I think w- the theme here, maybe not actually, because I'm looking at some of these, and some of these definitely just look like dragons straight up. But if I'm, but uh, some of, but this is where you get your really goofy Pokemon that like, where you look at them and think this should not be a dragon, right? Pokemon like these Applin. Are the, these are the fun ones, though. They are fun. These are really. These good. are the ones I like, right? Where we have yeah, Turtin- I like these more. Turtonator is giant, a giant turtle, right? Applin is a worm inside of an apple. Uh, we, you know, Gudra is in Sligoo, right? There's it's snails. better. 
Scrooge is better. Oh, right, we've got no. <laughs> Flygon is not a bug type, right? Kingdra is a, is a seahorse. A lonely executor is a palm tree. These are the well, dragons. It makes sense there's that a they're, sea, they're sea dragons. It's yes, like yes, a, yes. A species of seahorse. Uh, yeah, it I'm makes sense that this is their secondary typing. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. and, and I, this is probably why Dialga and Palkia are not the dragons. That's true. Yeah, absolutely. Dragons, which I hadn't thought about. Mine neither. It didn't. I don't really think. Like, why are they steel and water type? Maybe that's a question for. It's a because video. for Very one, it was supposed to be the states of matter between all three of them. Giratina is gas because yes. ghost. It's gaseous, solid, liquid, and then also I think it's like the thing of like time is set. You yeah. know, time mm-hmm. is solid, yeah. and space that's fluid. You know, mm-hmm. I like that. Yep. That makes sense. All of that is true. And then Dino, um, Zoelius, Hydragon are dragons, but they are also very. They're also just like the destruction Pokemon. I don't know what they're classified as, but I know they were initially. Shout out to Doctor Lava for uncovering uh, that these Pokemon were initially in their beta forms, designed to look like uh, tanks, like mm-hmm. war tanks. Um, it's just you, dark because they're war. Exactly, machines. yeah, <laughs> exactly. They're just destructive beings. Um, well, and they also, you know, it, it's with Getsus, who's like the most evil yeah, guy in Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's so true. true, yeah. And these are Hydra's. Dragalgy's the real... It's uh, so good. Leafy sea, dra- sea dragon. Sea dragon. Yeah. yeah. It does it right. I feel like Tyrant and Tyrantrum got the rock dragon type, but really... I Yeah, I think the... Like I feel like the rock type, my head cannon has always been that the rock type uh, of the fossil Pokemon is hiding, uh, like a dormant typing that is wasn't able yeah, to be yeah, revived. I agree. I agree. I agree. Right? Like it, it wasn't fully. And if you look, like all the fossils, if you look over the yeah. generations mm-hmm. of fossils, they look like the restoration process is getting better and better mm. until you reach the Galar fossils where they don't look rocky at all and don't have rock types. That's cool. But unfortunately are put together wrong. That's, you that's really cool. You could say the opposite though because because they're put together wrong. So does that mean that they should have the rock type to be put together right? They needed the rock type. I think Not so, like, yeah. I'm that's how I've always thought look at their it. design. Their design doesn't look rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah the the past, designs are, man, are artificial, right? That's the whole gimmick. Yeah. But I agree with you, Sol. I think whatever we normally would have gotten, they would be rock electric, wa- rock water, rock dragon, mm. rock ice. Um, um, I will say, too, I think the reason they slapped the dragon typing on the Tyrant line yeah. is because they were aware, like, we're finally doing a T-Rex fossil. Yeah. It's got to live dragon. up to the hype. What would it know? be, though? Like, what would its rock type be underneath all of that? It, Maybe fighting? Dark. 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 It talks yeah. about how evil and bullying it is. Dude, you're right. Stab crunch. That's pretty cool. Mm. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. Noibat is primarily flying type. That makes sense. This is a wide Which was cool. It was the yeah. only one. I don't know if there's mm-hmm. another one still, but... There is now a bunch. Like, Corviknight's primary flying. Flamigo's primary flying. Um, and yep. there was Tornadus before this is pure flying. Uh, I kind of dr- hate Guzzlord. I'm just saying. And I don't know why it's a dragon either. Because it's just a... I don't know. I think it makes it sense. It's a Hydra. One, I, feel like, I feel like Guzzlord is a corrupted Hydra. I really would have liked Guzzlord it's, if this it didn't is, have the look, two heads. Like, the, it doesn't need the stomach eyes. Oh, dude, it, it looks like a black head. hole. You can even see its spiky tongue. Yeah. It's There's got, also a lot of theories it's connected to Zygarde. Yeah. It I, is cool. It's just wild. I think, it, I think the like, dragon type makes sense. I don't like it. <laughs> um, it dra- I, I misspoke earlier. Uh, Drampa is actually the first normal dragon type. Um. And I, I like Drampa a lot. What is this? Puff the Magic Dragon? This is it's another kind of, silly this dragon. This is the closest thing we have to that Quetzalcoatl, you know? The yeah, I could see that. A little bit, you're right. Should, serpent, you know? Yeah, you're right. He does have, like, arms in there somewhere. I think, like, yeah. right here, yeah. It's, like, it's it's yeah. kind of has just, like, it's got, like, oh, <laughs> it's got these, like, just, yeah. like, really big Which, sleeves. by the way, we'll just say in new Pokemon Snap, that guy. Dude, I got it. I know. Cool I got to play it. I got to play it. I was thinking about it. I was like, I gotta sit down. I I don't know what I want to do. I don't know if I want to like live stream it or what. I probably should a little bit. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to rush it, but it's sitting. It's it's actually it's right behind me. It's it's in my collection. I'm. Uh, so we got Naganadel, Poison Dragon type. We got the Appler line, which we've talked to death about. (laughs) And then, oh yeah, here are the fossils: uh, Draco Zolt and Dracovish. 
Duraludon's really interesting. Steel Dragon. Eternatus is another Poison Dragon type. Coridon, Maridon. I do see that now, how their Dragon typing is secondary because they're primarily... Uh, you know, primary like right. The fighting type is is the. Uh, I feel like it's primarily strength. a representation of their time. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, or Coridon like is it gets its energy from its physical like... strength, and then Maridon gets its energy from its electric uh, technological mm -hmm. um, abilities, and then Dragon type is because they're also just serpents. They're cyclozars. Yeah, they're cyclozars exactly. Um, uh, I I feel like the the dragon types in the paradox Pokemon don't quite make sense. They kind of make sense because they're dinosaurs. I feel like none of the typings of paradox Pokemon make too much sense. I think they make sense. Just, they're not. I, I don't think they're it. supposed to. I think they do make sense though, like secretly. Like I could explain. These all ones of them. make the most sense actually. Yeah, compared mm -hmm. to because they're just trying to be dinosaurs. Really, all of them should just be dinosaurs or dragon type because they're yeah. all dinosaurs. The past ones. You're right. And then we've got, I think, just three Pokemon that gain a Dragon type upon some sort of, uh, uh, not evolution, but form change. The only, oh, that's not true. The ultimate, the ultimate Dragon. Wait, yeah, yeah. Form. Let me let me get to it. So there we got the we got five, six, really six. We got we got Mega Charizard X, Mega Ampharos, and Mega Sceptile all gaining the dormant Dragon type, uh, which is really cool because that would, you know, that's a different form of evolution. It suggests that any Pokemon really, not any Pokemon, but a lot of Pokemon, or I guess theoretically any Pokemon could be hiding a dormant dragon typing, which is cool. Which is what yeah, we're, which is what we're gonna about to talk about. Is what we talked about earlier with like, you know, Archaeops and yeah. those kind of Pokemon that learn a lot of dragon moves and stuff. Yeah. And then, so what is the other one that I'm missing? There's uh, Ultra Necrozma, and then yes. if you want to be technical, Arceus and Silvalli. Sure, you're right. Arceus and Silvalli can become the dragon type which makes sense with what they are. Um, actually, this one's really cool. How 10% Zygarde form looks like a dog. This is what I'm talking about. I want... It's a dragon. I love that it's a dragon I type, like but this. it looks like a I dog. I like that. No, because it, it has nothing, absolutely nothing that makes it a dragon type. It has dragon energy. It's Zygarde. It has dragon Zygarde energy. Isn't, That's what Zygarde it is. Zygarde itself is the dragon. Yeah, you know, I think the matter. logic is the same as Regidrago. It's dragon because of the dragon energy. Not you know, because like of what it looks ghost like. ghost types that are not dead, but yes. they have a ghost energy, a ghost I agree. power. My guy's a dog. <laughs> He's just a dog. <laughs> I think it's so cool. And then we have the one of the one of the craziest lost Pokemon of all time. This might as well be a, a lost beta Pokemon because we're never seeing it again. Um, Game Freak hates me, man. Dude, this I is Soul of Arts Pokemon. Yeah, dude, talk, speak. They're like, no, you, they're, they're, they, they did it for you, Soul. They said, "Wow, they this guy really the loves lost Pokemon. We should <laughs> cut his favorite." <laughs> We should make something God. sick. <laughs> so that it's also a lost Pokemon. <laughs> so this is a light I dragon. Yesterday. So nice. I don't think so, but I'll this, look now. This is Ultra <laughs> Necrozma, the light energy dragon and psychic Pokemon. So cool. Um, but that's all of the Pokemon that have the dragon typing, and that's great and all, but I think another really cool conversation is what Pokemon do not have the dragon type that could possibly have the dragon type? Because I think... Ever since Generation 1, this list has been growing more and more, right? 100%. So we've got the egg group of Dragon-type Pokemon, and then we have some other Pokemon that sh also... Yeah, so th these are these are Pokemon that are classified mechanically in the game to have the Dragon-type, um, the, the Dragon-typing, or the Dragon... What is it called? It, it, they're in the Dragon-egg group. Egg group. Right, yeah. so this allows these Pokemon to breed amongst each other, and they're classified as the Dragon-egg group. So we have Pokemon like Charmander and Charmeleon, Charizard. This next one's really cool. Ekans and Arbuck, because these are... Which it makes sense, because they're snakes, right? So yeah. we're just doing the reptile thing. Like, they could have easily been dragon, or get, like, a dragon evolution. Yeah, know? absolutely. Same as, like, with Horsey and Seedra. I think Seedra should have been a dragon, but I could they see evolve poison. a dragon. Yeah, yeah, they're on this list because of their evolution. Mm -hmm. We've got... But they make sense. They're seahorses, and they're... Those are, like, just draconic vibes. They are, Absolutely. And this is, it, they're like cute little dragons. Magikarp and Gyarados is awesome, right? Gyarados is really Makes the dragon sense. there. This is the mm -hmm. sea dragon. Um, we've got, oh, this is sick. Trico, Grovile, and Sceptile, which makes sense because Sceptile does mega evolve to gain the dragon type. We've but got, I think it's also just because they're reptiles again. <laughs> like yeah, no, absolutely, this, yeah. The question really is, is 
for me is should these have gotten a dragon type even like i'm just thinking about some of them i think some of them could but i think except al could have been there's also this thing where it's like you know game freak makes games based on the uh, on the balancing of their games mm-hmm. as well of right? course of course they can make a cool game a design but they're like if this is too powerful or if it doesn't make sense to be able to get it in an early route right like swablu it's like let's make it normal flying and then if you evolve it around the seventh gym then you know now you have a dragon type but you're late enough yeah. into the game, right? So absolutely, I'm just talking about like design wise, not really like no, totally actually it being a dragon because it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense. Like Sceptile could do it, yeah. I don't know, but no, I, I think starter, I think so Sceptile no. <laughs> could be a dragon type. I I think there someone actually made a video. Uh, I think it, yeah, someone made a video about uh, doing like a full playthrough with the ROM of their Sceptile being dragon type, and it didn't even like affect anything. Right, I, people always, dude. People always tell me in my comments that I should not make a starter dragon type because it, it makes them totally broken, and that is not mm-hmm. true at all. Dragon type no, used to be super powerful, and it's not that powerful anymore. So Especially if open they your get mind. it as the final evolution. Yeah, dude. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Matter. It doesn't matter I, at all. I think. I think it would be. This is. Uh, dude, if a starter, guy, can, if a starter can get fairy type, then a starter can get dragon type. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. There's a guy. I mean, dragons weak to three things. Fairies weak to two. You know? Yeah. Um, I think it will happen too eventually. I think there was uh, there's this there's this YouTuber. His name is um, Mr. Buddy. I think. Yeah, yeah. He would do. Icon. He kind of got his big rise by like he'd do like, what if Pokemon did a you know a Greek region a and all this, and um, he did for his Norse region or Scandinavian region, uh, because of Norse mythology and dragons being very heavy in that area. Um, he suggested like the starters you're actually given an egg and it hatches into a dragon type and it'll be dragon fire or dragon water oh, that's dragon so dude. cool that would be the sickest that's so cool starter ever yeah. Is, did he do the buddy mon yes 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 yeah i i love his stuff mm-hmm. I, every really time good. i'm like Very these talented. are i'm like these are buddy mon but these should just be pokemon well he calls them buddy <laughs> yeah. mon so he, he can like that. he can like license yeah. them yeah, sure. yeah, like because when he They're started, so it was just Pokemon, and then he he dude. I'm gonna make Dusty Mon it to be Buddy Mon. Should I make Dusty Mon? Dusty Mon, you should. I made a couple yeah. designs, but they're all based you on it, Pokemon, so I guess I can't do that with them. Um, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> so we got yeah, yeah Trap Inch, Vibrava, Flygon again. It makes sense because they are Dragon type, but again, these are Pokemon that are not. They don't look like dragons. Not really. Kind of Flygon does a little bit. Uh, I love that Survipers there. I do sick. too. Survipers here. Feebas and Milotic is here, which is totally true. I think Milotic could have been a dragon type. It could have been a fairy type. It, well, it's it had... also they're very similar to Magikarp and Gyarados. Exactly. Yeah, yeah those I don't like know confirmed if I'd... dragons. I think it should have had I something. I really don't think I would make them dragon or or Surviper, to be honest. But it's just funny that they're here. Well, they're snakes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, totally. Yeah. yeah. We've got uh, Gibble, the Gibble line, of course, but Scraggy and Scrafty is here. These are dark. Now, they lizards. make a lot of sense because they're, they're lizards. lizards. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that a lot. I did not know they were part mm-hmm. of the this egg group. It yeah, make, they get like dragon claw and uh, dragon dance. In my playthrough of Black right now, I started with Tepig and Rog and Rolla, and I'm like, I do like the Rog and Rolla and Tepig. I'm like, oh, it's kind of cute. I keep leveling it up. It's finally an Embor, and I'm like, I'm not having fun with this game. I haven't built a team. So I traded in a Superior that was like around the same level from another game, and I traded over a Lapras, and I'm like, ooh, my, I'm like, I got the Dragon team. This is so cool. And now I'm like, I think I'm gonna go and catch a Scrafty. I think I'm gonna go catch a Haxorus, and like make a full Dragon team. That's a little, just a little. Next sidebar. time I revisit Unova, I'll be using Scraggy on my team. Yeah, Scraggy's cool, man. Scraggy's All really right. cool. Um, I don't know why, but let's let's, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Helioptile is here. This is an Electric Normal type. But if they can give it a Again, normal lizard. type, why not give it a dragon type? Why is it not electric normal uh, electric dragon, right? Hmm. This is another another it's lizard. A little too small, maybe. A I don't think it matters. I don't think it. Noibat is small, right? Yeah. We got Salandit and Salazzle. These are. Uh, it really is, dude. The dragon type is just a lizard reptile. If type. you are a lizard or reptile, you can be a dragon. Look at this, mm-hmm. dude. Silicobra and Sandaconda. So these are new Pokemon, too. These aren't Pokemon that were, like, retconned. Like, these are brand new Pokemon that they purposefully put into the dragon egg group. That's cool. Um, that's. I guess that's the end of the egg group. 
But I do think that there are so many more Pokemon that could have the Dragon type. Just right off the top of my head, uh, Lapras is one. I think Lickitung being a lizard would be yeah, really cool. About him. Lickitung is so cool. No, Lickitung is kind of boring, but it is also a classic Gen 1 Pokemon, and it's because is of it how a big lizard? it is. To me, it's always been more amphibian-like. I think it's, yeah, yeah amphibian. Like a salamander. Yeah, I think it still passes a Dragon type to me, though. Because of how bulky yeah. it is, I told, yeah, I think... Lickitung being dragon the type would have been The little beady eyes is what makes me think totally. amphibian. I think Kaiju yeah. is something that we see a lot in the Pokemon universe, right? So Pokemon like Rhydon, I could see that being a dragon type. Kangaskhan, I could see that being a dragon type. Um, but again, Lapras, I think Lapras would be so cool as a dragon. Would you get rid of yeah. the water or the ice type? I think maybe dragon ice would be cool. Probably. Dragon ice would be cool. Right. But you'd probably get rid of the water. You probably would get rid of the... I, I think Game Freak, if they were to ever do this, and I don't think they ever will, would get rid of the ice, but I would say get rid of the water. Yeah. It Hold on one second. I'm going to shut my window. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I think we could also see... I'm just going to keep going. There was Gyarados as well. Yeah, Gyarados would be cool. Gyarados, yeah. I mean, I guess some of these, like, I'm just like, this has been talked to death. So, like, of course, right. Charizard should have right. a dragon type, right? Um, but let's well, see. Well, I think it's fine with Gyarados because they changed his typing when he mega evolved. Yeah. And they just and missed the mark. Yeah. They, they dark gave it dark. instead of dragon. Yeah. Like, what Which in is the world? so st it's That's silly. Steelix, I think, could be one. Yeah. Steel Steelix, dude. Oh, yeah, I was going to say oh. Onyx. Onyx is a worm. Mm. Onyx is mm. that sand worm from Tremors or from Dune. I would love to see that so much. I'm yeah. actually, I'm actually. Some people would call him a snake, even. So. Yeah, I'm actually commissioning someone right now to make a dragon type evolution of Onyx. Uh, in Scyther, actually, I think Scyther would be sick if it got. Like, oh, a dragon Scyther type. was yeah. one I thought of when when I was thinking of this topic. I was like, Scyther would be on my like dragon type totally. tier list kind of thing because it's so like dinosaur looking. What about Dunsparce? Oh my gosh. Yes, it is a snake. It is a snake. It is Maybe a snake. not Dunsparce, but the Dunsparce, I think, could have been a dragon. The Dunsparce should have been. Honestly, I remember everyone was snake. like, Dragon Fairy Dunsparce <laughs> yeah, evolution. Yeah. The god Pokemon. <laughs> someone said, dude, someone said Dawnfang could be dragon type. I thought that was kind of weird. That's silly. But yeah. I could, I I could kind of see it. I could see Great Tusk. I think it was Great Tusk. Yeah, Great Tusk. Tusk. I could it see was that. Great Tusk. But I still don't. I don't still oh, was that V Create Art? I did see that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what what else? I think Tyranitar is a good. Yeah, yeah if Tyranitar any, was like a miss. And what's crazy they is that Tyranitar. Dragon type. Yeah, Tyranitar was the only pseudo legendary, I guess Metagross as well, that was not dragon type. And it's so obviously look, it so obviously looks like a dragon type. Like just make In a dragon. In fairness, though, there wasn't really a precedent before that. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, it was just dragon. Yeah, but they Lugia they had nothing. Well. Yeah, you can't pass over Lugia, but they had nothing oh, yeah. in Gen 2 for dragons. Like, it was just Kingdra, and it's not even an original yeah. Gen 2 mm -hmm. kind of thing, you know? Tyranitar yeah. was so a cool. These two should have been dragons, in my opinion. I mean, I always think yeah, Lugia should have been dragons. I don't like, get the rock type. With Altaria, is like, it's a, a legendary bird, like the uh, mm -hmm. the thing that's based Dude. on. So, ho -Oh is a phoenix. It could Psychic be dragon, fire dragon. That would have been sick. But they're obviously, ob they're also birds, right? And I think, yeah. I think having the dragon type would also justify being a water or living in the bird? water. Lugia's what is a it? Dragon. Is it a bird? I don't think it is. <laughs> it's it's a sorry, it's not a bird. It's it's flying type. Okay. Yeah, it's flying type. They're they're the flying type it's legendary sea dragon to me. It is. I think it's a sea dragon. It has sea hands. Beast. For Christ's sake. Yeah. So and then you know, uh oh, oh could have Septile been. Oh. could be dragon type. I, you know what's crazy? Because like any sort of, uh, I think also what I do is any sort of obscure monster, Pokemon monster looking thing, I could just justify it being a dragon type. Like I look at Swampert, like, I'm like Plusle. No, not not Plusle. Oh. Plusle is a bunny. <laughs> I have to go back a, a little bit because Where? I wanted to mention it earlier when we were talking about Eastern dragons to Suicune. Um, yes. So Suicune is kind of based on. Uh, Kirin, I think is what it's called, mm -hmm. and it's a it's an Eastern kind of dragon. Dude, that's I like see that. Literally, uh, it, like a deer horse. Thing. Yes, dude. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. It's or, a perfect, or kind of deer like, horse. The Ki Quillen, Quillen. Quillen. That's it. I think it's yeah. It looks like the dragons. It has the same head structure and crest and 
horns and flowing mane of the dragons from Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, it's not confirmed, but I fully believe it. I Let's think see. that's what it was based on. So Are there any other I Pokemon th off the top of your head? Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, interrupt. No, no, no. I just... That's I think that's one of the reasons why it even got like Walking Wake was like a dragon and all yeah. that. Yeah. I think Exploud could pass as a dragon type if yes. it, if it never yeah, sure. got if it never got if it never gets the sound type like that would make it so much more interesting. Go caddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I that's crazy. I've never thought Agron could have the dragon type, but I see it and I love that so much. Totally. Steel. Totally, totally. Did the rock type really is just a fill in for uh <laughs> Just for it, yeah. You know what? Yeah, Plusle really could be a dragon type. Or or Mega Manetric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. We're just, just I see, could kind of see it. Like, it Grumpig. Gets, yeah, you're so right. Because if, if Altaria is a dragon type, right, why can't Surviper? Why can't any of these other Pokemon? Whiscash. I mean, all right, let's keep it serious. But... <laughs> no, no, no. Whiscash, seriously, think about it. It's got the whiskers. It's based off this legendary, like... I sure, think maybe yeah. it's a yokai. It might have been a monster that You're causes right. earthquakes. That's yeah. that's a good no, point. I see it. That's I a good it. point. I feel like Game Freak does this thing where they introduce. This happens a lot. They introduce a new typing, and then they uh, water ground. Then they overdo it. No, no, yeah, they either overdo it or they they will purposefully put the same type into like so. Water ground is the is the typing of Swampert, which is the starter. So it's like if you didn't pick Swampert, you could still get a water uh, ground type later in the game. They do sure, that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Grass Ghost, they have about beaten to death. Yeah. I think my yeah. Rotic could be Dragon type. I think uh, Tropius Kecleon. would be Kecleon. so cool. Yeah, Kecleon, Kecleon would be yeah. sick as a dragon. Tropius would be sick as a Tropius, dragon. Tropius should be. Grass Dragon. Be. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that's another one. Kyogre for sure. and Groudon, honestly. Yeah. At least Groudon. Dude, something's wrong with my brain, though, because I look at Wall Rain and I'm like, that could be a dragon. It's yeah, not, right. but it but it but it has this like weight to it, right? It looks like a final boss. Ooh, you know what ooh. I'm saying? The the Huntail line. Huntail. Yes, Here's dude. my logic. It like retcons like Clam Pearl to be like a dragon's egg that happens oh! into this dragon serpent. Dude. Make know? a good. Uh, you That's know, so thing. cool. Mm -hmm. I love that, dude. That, that is really so good, cool. Uh, look alike, Mon. It, mm -hmm. It's like the egg of a Palkia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so cool and I think I think love disc no 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 maybe no. not love disc I'm thinking dragon <laughs> scale heart scale a it's little a mola more than love disc yeah it's like you're thinking ahead of like it could evolve into a dragon yeah maybe but yeah that thing itself is not a dragon no 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 Torterra could be a dragon right Starly yeah, turtle so, okay I'm trying to be serious <laughs> <laughs> you suggested love disc no, I, well, I was thinking dragon scale and heart scale. Heart, uh, Love Disc's only purpose is to give heart scales, right? Kranidos or Shield On. I was going to yeah, say, yeah, I, those I, I think Kranidos is, is dragon. I think Shield On should be dragon steel. That'd be cool if one day we actually get access to those regional. That'd be sick if they just give us regional forms for those. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. I think as we go, they start appropriately giving us or, or distributing the dragon type as as we go further and further into the generation. Yen Mega. Yeah, Yen Mega Yen would be a great one. Yeah, one. yeah, for sure. Aww. Man, what what a come up! But a even like Licka Licky, I could kind of see to be honest. Yeah, I think all of these needed something additional. Right? Electivire like, is like more like an Oni. Gorilla. I see dragon. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I see fighting or dark type. With Electivire. Yeah, it would have been cool if, like, Electivire was electric fighting and Magmortar fire psychic or something. Yeah, that would have been mm -hmm. cool. Tangrowth. Of course, now we have fire psychic Magmortar, and he is cooler, and his name is Armor Rouge. Yeah, he... Guys, I'm coming around. I think Armor Rouge actually I might like better. Yeah! You know, you know what like it is? Infinitely happen. better. You know what it is? Infinitely cause, better. It's because it's uh, uh, Seraledge is, is, like, too dark. Like, I feel like that I can't see... Edgy. It's no, I like how I like its swords, but I think it's like the blue. It's like blue and navy, and black, and it's just. I think it's difficult for me to see like the the intricacies of the design, and I'm a sucker for contrast. Like there's so many Gen One Pokemon I hate yeah, because Armor just got the yellow, for me, the red, just tan. black. You know, for me it's definitely the colors, like but it's also just the boots. 
Sure. <laughs> I like the, the boots. boots. I've never thought of that. I like the boots that a lot. That's not what I thought you said at first. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just a Gardevoir boots fan for, for whatever reason. Um. Oh, Gliscor I could kind of see. Gliscor would be kind of cool, yeah. Be- because of the... But I like ground flying better. How about, so how I... about Porygon Z, though? Porygon Z I could see. I could see that. Yeah, huh. a digital dragon because it it has the beak, it's got horns. I can see that. Digimon. Digital monster. Yeah, it, <laughs> April's coming around. We definitely have to do that. Uh, we that definitely Digimon. have to do that. That Digimon we tier should, list. That'd be we fun. Should, we should. What other? Po- I guess. Superior. Yeah, Superior it could be a Superior dragon. Too. I yeah. really don't like Embor. I tried as the original dragon as we established earlier. <laughs> Gen five remake games. And Gigalith. Superior. I could also. Yes. Superior. I have, Gig- I have Gigalith on my team right now, and I'm like, I feel like it's a dragon. It's not, but it kind of feels like it is. I don't Gigalith, think it Gigalith is so freaking cool. Look at this. It is, it's, it's cool, but it doesn't need to be a dragon. It has nothing to do with dragons. But it looks like a It, it looks like looks a drake. Very... That's the whole thing about dragons that I was trying to tell you earlier with Altaria. This thing looks like a dragon to you because dragons are fierce, and, and this is fierce. That's what you're getting the sure. vibe from. Yeah, but this is so cool. Yeah, and then we also well, have that. It's very monstery, kind of. Yeah, to me of a True. dinosaur. True. True. What about Scolipede? Scolipede. Nah. Basculin. Uh, Crocodile. Basilegion. Yeah, Crocodile. I'm, I'm jumping ahead, but Basilegion. Yeah, Basilegion's cool, but the ghost type's even cooler. It is cooler on it. I think Crocodile, Crocodile would be or... interesting. Crocodile. Scra- Scrafty. Scrafty, as we discussed, would it get rid of the dark or the fighting type? Dark, I would uh, say. Yeah, yeah, dark. Yeah. I could see Archin and Caracosta both getting that dark type. It's interesting, Caracosta is the only uh, fossil Pokemon to not have a primary rock type, but that's a different video. Um, um, you guys got to fill the silence. Gothitelle. <laughs> just keep scrolling. We're looking. All right, all right. Well, that's true. I guess the listeners, we're just looking. We're looking at the uh, decks right now. We're scrolling I could see a Loma Mola more than, uh, what you mean, Jimmy? I don't know. Alumma Mola is just water. Forget them. Electros, though. Forget Electros, them. Yes. Yeah. What's funny Electros. is people, People. we will get one comment, at least one comment, that Electros is better off being just electric with Levitate because it has yeah, I mean, it, yeah. it is. But it, it, sh- is but it could off. be a dragon. That'd be, that'd be nice. <laughs> These are not that we want them to be dragons. These are they could, could be. be considered, yeah. yeah. I always thought Mian Shao, not always, like a month ago, no. I thought Mian Shao could be dragon type because it's- I can see that. Because there's like a fighting aspect, like like maybe like dragon style fighting or yes. something. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, and uh, the whiskers. Okay, sure. It, and it's found in the Dragon Spiral Tower. But again, it's oh. a secondary dragon type, right? That's that's kind of yeah, just that's that would my, be a, that would be like a game I freak love Mian Chow. Yeah. yeah. If they give a Mian Chow too. a dragon fighting evolution, that'd be sick. I also love that. Um, eat I more. Think... Oddly enough. Yeah, maybe. Eat more. Oh. It, 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 it's an ant eater. It's not a reptile. It's an but... Ant eater. Volcarona, oh. just because it's very like yeah, legendary. Yeah. I'm trying to be realistic out here. Just keep scrolling. Oh, Bonnell B is a dragon type. No, be- beat you to yeah. it, Lumi. Beat you to it. <laughs> absolutely, it is. What about? There's really not too many in these gens. No, because I think like, they I do would... an appropriate job. Like, give me an if it's gonna be that has. They'd never do this, but give me an Ega Slash that has dragon's blood on it. So oh, it's a dragon dude. Steel. Dragon's bane. Yeah, the dragon's blade. bane. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I think yeah, Aurora and oh. yeah. Amora could have been dragon Hot as well. Key, of course. <laughs> okay, the listeners are like these people are insane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying though? With we were talking about Tyrantrum and that, yeah, I could that see line, that. like Amoris could have been Amoris definitely could. Yeah. Have been. Well, that Amoris, I I think what it could be is it's 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 uh, hidden type is rock ice. And the Tyrantrum is Dark Dragon. That makes I mean, sense. I think it was me. think, though. I think it was I meant th- to be a counterpart to it. You know. I sure, think yeah. though I, the original type of the Amara line would be electric, because they're associated with the Auroras, which is all like electromagnetism, and then mm-hmm. also they learn a lot of electric moves like discharge and stuff. Dude, this yeah. this Pokemon right here, Vika Volt, I could see this being a Dragon type. This is ah, yeah. Dude, again, come this on. is just because it looks like it, uh, it looks fierce. fierce. Tent. Yeah. Yeah. But it has nothing to do with dragons. I would not. Um, what about maybe wishy washy? Maybe I know. I was thinking that too because it's like a sea dragon, but Down they're not sweet. really dragons. This is the thing, right? It's like we can't give every Pokemon. Look at Salazzle could have been. Um, 
or its male evolution. Could I think they do a really good job later on, like get, just giving us the interesting dragons. Yeah, we're not finding many because they, in the beginning, they didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> For real, Inteleon? No, not not a dragon. It's a human. No, it's um, a man. I honestly it's don't even think it's worth like going through the rest of this list because I think what, what you're doing is fine right now. Colossal, colossal. colossal. Colossal could have been one. Colossal. Yeah, Colossal would have been cool. I like Colossal. That's like the kaiju. Of yeah, Sandaconda as well. I think. And um, yeah, Colossal is like a, a a kaiju, which those kind of like those pass as a dragon. dragon, right? Yeah. We got. Runa what do you Rigus. think about Runarigus? I've never liked it. Yes. You guys are making me appreciate it more because like the drawing of it is a dragon. Perfect. But um oh yes, dude dragon. how sick would it be if we got a look alike to Runarigus that is the is, dragon yeah, that's that would be cool I it. think I would cry I'm just saying cuz it's like another like snaky looking dragon I would be uh -huh. so into it I'd that would be, be cool. so into it Look I think down. honestly all of these Arc Desult could have been dragon I think Arc yeah, Vish could have been think dragon they're all dragons <laughs> mm -hmm. like it should have been like electric dragon ice dragon water dragon just dragon but I, you know, the combinations are more interesting. I, I, I yeah. Let's good. see. There really isn't much else here, right? Well, Basque Legion. Yeah, Basque Legion could work. Think. I don't. I don't think it would. I don't think it fits Dragon. I think Ghost type makes sense. Skeledurge. It's fine as a ghost. I, it has so many design inspirations. Yeah, I'm saying. I'm saying could be not sure. would be. I think it could have been Dragon. To be honest, like I get the ghost thing, but mm -hmm. it would have fit. I'm tempted to say Garganical, but I think it's no, fine no, as a rock no. type. I think it's fine. It could have had Fairy on it because it's got like all these healing properties. Sure, yeah. I think the, I honestly think this is doing really well. I think I think I think. Oh, villains. It's Pathra since it's not a bird. That's true. It, it's kind of like a dragon. That would be it, like a Game Freak one where it's like a yeah. typical, looks like a bird, but it's a dragon. I'm honestly yeah. done. I think I think all of these make sense. Wug Trio would Rev be kind of, of funny. No, Rev of Room needs a different typing. It needs the ghost type. Yeah. Or yeah, it, it like just doesn't need a tongue. Why does it have a tongue? Dude, honestly, I have thought about this. I think so. I'll tell you this. I think Satitan could have the dragon type. Yeah, yeah, I can I see think Satitan makes a lot of sense to have a dragon type. Because it, it feel it would feel like a parallel there, yeah. to Garchomp, right? A land dragon, a land whale. Um I think that I would think be it cool. would have made more sense for Don Dozo to be water dragon and Tatsuki yes. to be pure pure water. Uh yeah, I think they just all should be dragon type. Maybe they, know, maybe they did dragon. that. We're all dragon. That'd be cool. Maybe they did that for competitive reasons because like then they aren't all. Oh yeah, because Don Dos is bulky as heck. That would be horrible. Yeah, um, the Dunsparce is really one that I would pick. Yeah, the Dunsparce. Pretty much all the dragon. past paradoxes could be dragon. Dude, Great Tusk. Slitherwing. Yeah. Slitherwing. Slitherwing should be the bug. Great Tusk. Should have been the bug dragon. Iron, Iron Jugglus should definitely mm -hmm. be dragon type. Even Iron Thorns. A mm. lot of the, yeah, those guys should have been because they still are dragons. Electric's like, fine. Yeah, but the body I'm talking about. So, like, Iron Thorns is like a dragon. Just like Tyranitar. Same yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I agree. And then mm. we got... That's pretty much yeah. it. I mean, this is... There's so many new Pokemon. There's Pulse so many guy. new Pokemon. Because th this Gen 9 was so good for so many new Pokemon. So the, the Oh, and then finally, Tarapagos <laughs> needs to be a dragon Tarapagos, the ultimate, should have been a dragon oh, type. It's so <laughs> underwhelming. We're showing, we're showing the thing too early. Scroll up. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, I, I'll cut that out. Here. I'll cut that out. Tokutaro's got to go. You'll be fine. Nobody will. I, no, they will. They'll No, they pick it up. I'll have to cut that out. But, okay, so the final thing well, that I want to talk about... Then. Final, is the worst one. I mean, this this episode's gone on too long, but I do want to kind of give myself like a, a selfish uh, plug right here. What do we think, guys? Do you think this year is going to be the year where we finally I can't get? You got so many likes on no. this. I was like, what in the world? Do I don't understand it. It's just wish for a moment. <laughs> but do you guys think we're finally going to get an EV evolution? No. No. Why not? Absolutely not. Why not? Well, because we're just not. <laughs> it's yeah, done. No. They're done. They're not done. I don't think they're done. But no. I hope they're done. To be honest, I hope they're done. But I mean, I don't know if you want to be like... technical, if you want to be technical, you know, and I've been a big champion of patterns are only patterns until they're broken. Yep. But uh, the pattern has still continued. We did get a new EV in Gen 8, which what? was the G-Max EV. Yeah, that's true. That so honestly is true. Gen 10, maybe. And we got a Terrastal one in Gen 9. <laughs> that, but it wasn't a special it. form. 
I mean, yeah, no, it, it didn't get a special terrestrial. I know, I'm just messing around. I definitely think I, I definitely think we could get uh, an EV evolution at some point in, in in the future. I think I think it's gonna come back. I think Gen 10. I think they want to space it out. If they have a hundred year plan, they're gonna be like, let's do let's put one new one out every ten years, no, so we don't have to retcon be, everything. The next gimmick will just have a little EV sitting on top of everyone. Dude, oh, dude, why is Tirapagos a thing? <laughs> it's so bad. All right, that's, the worst. that's gonna be our episode. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any other uh, any other final thoughts about dragon type in Pokemon? Terrapagos and Lugia should have been dragon types. Yeah. That's what I have to say. This was a fun little retrospective. We are currently going to be into the year of the dragon, 2024. So I think I'm hoping that we get some new mystery gifts uh, giveaways, maybe like um, Lance's Dratini or something. That'd That's be kind of fun. funny, Dusty. That's a really good joke. <laughs> No, no, I was going to say only in Japan. Game Freak, give us, but yeah, only in Japan. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I, I really hope we get those new mystery gifts that are not available to me. That'd be great. Right. Um, but uh, <laughs> Do we even know that we're getting the epilogue? <laughs> uh, before we close out the episode, obviously we want to thank our patrons and members. And uh, specifically, we want to give a special shout out to over on YouTube, Drogane, who is an Arceus tier member. SEH Art Gold, who is a mythical tier member, Bramtastic, who is also an Arceus tier member, and Jasko, who is a mythical tier member. And then on Yo, the realist. For real. And then on Patreon, we got Candice, Wendy's, and Trash Panda as uh, mythical tier channel members. Not channel members, Patreons. Pa patrons. Pan patrons on Patreon. That's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it's all of you guys. Of Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. And if you didn't get if you didn't get uh, your holiday card yet, send us your address because we have them. We're holding on to them. We don't That's know how said, long we're going to hold might, on to it them. It might still be a minute on some of them. Like I've gotten some, I've gotten messages just like from sure. two days ago where someone said like they just got there. So like, well, if you're international, especially, it, it might be a minute. You know. Yeah, and and if you haven't. Uh, or, or how about this? If you haven't given us your address, give us your address. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys. Have a great day. Happy New Year. I thought right. it was so wild. I was messaging someone um, at, you know, in the focus of the new year. I was messaging someone at like 11 o'clock my time, but they lived in England. So mm -hmm. it was like, whoa, I am communicating with the future right now. Oh boy, we're gonna we're getting. They were real. in 2024. Well, I saw, I saw Not, something on the news. Is anyone in 2025? On the really, right now? really quick story. Really quick story. I saw something on the news. <laughs> People, they were in Japan on New Year's Eve, and then it became New Year's, and then they left Japan to go to California, and so they went back in time. What? Back to, Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is kind of cool. They went back to 2023. We honestly so should cool. do a whole episode on time travel <laughs> in Pokemon because that dates well, back to the first will. generation. <laughs> Um, yeah. 